please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be doing a wine tumbler tutorial, but not just any wine tumbler tutorial. We are celebrating one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, my auntie Christina, affectionately known as TT Christy, her birthday. So what she wanted to do was she wanted all of her guests to have a specific wine tumbler with a photo as well as a saying on the back of them. So. I created that to the best of my ability, and then I made her one. So we're going to go ahead and go over the wine tumbler tutorial. I am using a Heat Press Nation Signature Series uh, mug press to press these. These are 12-ounce tumblers, um, wine tumblers, and I got them from Etsy from a company called S-A-Y-E-R-S and Co and co so this is from etsy and i'm going to actually show you that information so i got these wine tumblers from sayers and co off of etsy they left a little note thank you for subbing and some other things but i'm opening this for the first time and i'm going to be subbing for one of my favorite people in the whole wide world my auntie's birthday so these are 12 ounce wine tumblers. 12 ounce wine tumblers. So I'm about to measure them so that I can um get this party started and I'll show you guys what I'm well, I think I probably already showed you guys what's gonna be on them. So I'm gonna measure them and get to subbing. Little girls from um Easy Art Mix off Etsy and Bella Boss 777. Okay, so it's a couple girls I got from the Bella Boss, a couple girls, and most of them I actually got from the Easy Art Mix. Okay, so this is her tumbler. She doesn't know, but I'm making her one. She's the birthday queen. Um, her birthday is actually November 17th, but we're celebrating a couple days early. And then this is the same that's going to go on the back of her tumbler. And then we just have Cyan, that's my mom, that's her big sister. We just have each one of her friends that's actually coming to her um, safe quarantine birthday event. So we're going to be safe. So that's the number one thing. But we're going to be celebrating. So I tried to get, what was really special about this is I tried to get it look like each person that actually is going to be there okay and then these are the sayings that's going to go on the back of each of them i'm going to print this out in silhouette studio and i'm going to be using my epson 7720 um our epson workforce 7720 sublimation printer that i converted okay so that is that and then we're going to go inside so i measured the tumblers and I'll show you that information. And then we're going to go ahead and go inside of Silhouette Studio. I'll show you how I'm going to um, place them on the tumblers and how I actually did it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make the images and the words because the actual whole tumbler is about four and like well all the way to the bottom is like five but i'm gonna make the words go only to above this hump so i'm gonna make the words and the images to be about three to three and a half that's how large i'm gonna make them okay so they could fit right here so maybe 3.25 is what i'll make the words and the images okay and of course, you want to clean this off. I clean mine off with alcohol. So that is clean and it's clear. 
Okay, so we are inside of Silhouette Studios. You guys know I just recently uploaded to the Business Edition, and I got that on a discount. If you want to know more about that, you can look at my previous video, and I discussed all of that information. Um, but okay, so we're going to go ahead, and I like for mine to be this way, like landscape. This is how I like for it to be viewed. Um if you see this square here, this is where it will print. It's still printing in an eight by um eight and a half by eleven when I actually need it to be eleven by seventeen because that's what I'm gonna be printing on. I'm gonna put as many girls and their phrases on here so we can print it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I do is I go to file at the top and then I go to print page setup. I've done this before in previous videos, but if it, this is your first time, I just want you to know. So I put this tabloid and it's gonna change it to 11 by 17 inches. I press okay. So now anything that's inside of this will actually be printed. If it was on the other setting, anything outside of that eight and a half by 11 would not print. So we don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to merge the files in. So I'm gonna start with the photo of me, of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna um, put this one in and if, if you can see, see it's a red highlight. We're going to go over here to that highlight and we're going to go to transparent. So I don't want that red highlight on my photo. I'm going to click the actual photo. You see how large it is? We can't print that large. So I'm going to go to width of being a, I measured the tumblers and I want my width to be 3.5 inches. And I want my height to be three inches because as I said, I don't want to go over the hump in the wine tumbler. I don't, that's going to cause some type of issues. Okay. So we can leave it this way or we can rotate it. Okay. So that's that. We're going to um, also merge in the words and as many women and words that we can get. She has me as her ride or die. So that is what I'm going to put next to mine. Um, once again, we want to make sure that we are taking away that red highlight because it'll print red. Now, if you wanted to print a different color, you're more than happy to do that. But I wanted to print like how I made the image in Canva. Because if you didn't know, I created the images in Canva. That's the program that I started off in. So I'm going to merge all of these. I'm going to um, print it out on my Epson Workforce 7720. Then I'm going to tape the images onto the tumblers. And then I'm going to print them in the, the um, heat press. And I got that from um, Heat Press Nation. Okay, so I'm putting 3.5 and I'm pressing return. I'm using a Mac laptop. You may press enter, whatever computer that you're on, so you can automatically get those in. Then we can put it, we can rearrange it to whichever one is going to get the most on there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, arrange all of these. I'm going to print it out, and then we're going to go from there. Okay? Once again, I'm doing 3 inches in height, 3.5 in width. That's what I'm doing for both of these um, around the tumbler. It was 10 inches in width around in the area that I'm going to be printing. Okay. All right. So stay tuned. So this is my Heat Press Nation Signature Series mug press that I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to make the wine tumblers with this because it actually fits. And I just put these nozzles, made it tight enough so that it can squeeze the tumbler. So this is what I'm going to be using today to sublimate on. Okay, so this is the 11 by 17 paper. I should have put more at the bottom. Just ignore that. I'm so irritated with myself. Well, I, well, I would have had to use less next time anywho whatever so here it is so now i'm gonna go ahead and start um cutting them out put them in there here's my mug heat press and we're gonna go ahead and get started 
Okay, so here I am cutting out the images, making sure they're neat, that they're going to fit on the tumblers. I'm making sure that the tape is um, has no lint or anything on there because any lint here or anything, it'll get into the tumbler. So you want to make sure that everything is neat and clean as possible. Okay, guys, a few important things. When you're using this particular mug press, you want to make sure you're using butcher paper to protect this part of the mug press. And then two, you want to make sure that everything is taped down and in the lines. You do not want the words or the images to show here because the when you close the heat press, if any words or photos are here, it will not sublimate. It will not stick to and sublimate onto the tumbler. And excuse this dust on here. But you want to make sure that when you're using this particular mug press, there's nothing here. No words, no pictures. Because if it's something there, that won't get tight. It won't get squozing. And it will not sublimate on whatever mug or tumbler that you're using. So you want to make sure there's nothing here and that everything is really tight. Like I said, these nozzles here, tighten it up so you can make sure that it's firm, it's tight, and that it'll be getting actually the words inside of whatever tumbler or mug that you're using. So you want to make sure it's on there really tight and secure so that it won't have any what is called ghosting or it won't be uh, really light on there. So that's extremely important that you align everything correctly and it's tight and so it can really adhere to the actual mug, okay? I hope that made sense. Oops, I meant tumbler for this, but what really, this is an actual mug press. So this is actually here so that the um, arm of a mug could fit. So I'm using a, so really is there, so this arm can fit there. So that's why it's there, but I'm using it for a tumbler specifically for today. So that's why this part is here because it's really a mug press. Okay, so now I hope that makes sense. All right, so we are done, finally. And here are the finished products. I think they turned out really, really good. I'm gonna show you guys the back of them. I made her one. She didn't know. Madison, I'm doing a video. Please be quiet. Thank you. All right. Here is the finished product. Thank you so much for your time. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please let me know. And I greatly appreciate you guys. Oh. Let me tell you where I got these. Okay, so I got all the girls except for this one and this one, which is the same one. I just changed it a little bit. I got, oh, and this one, these three, these two. I got all the girls from Easy Art Mix on Etsy. And then I got this one, this one, and this one from Bella Boss 777 from Etsy. Okay? So that's where I got all the girls from. And yep, yeah, that is all. If you guys, thank you so much for your time. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please go ahead and let me know. Thank you. Bye. Happy birthday, Chrissy. We love you. From your ride or die. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.